Can you start by just saying your name, your age and your job title? Date of birth. <laughs> <laughs> Blood type. My name's Tom Townsend, I'm 18 and I am a stockman for a farm. Working with animals is great fun. I mean, you get to drive big, heavy machinery, which is worth a lot. It's a manly job. It keeps you in good shape. You don't have to pretend to be nice to any of these, you know, people. You know, you do what you have to do. Nothing takes judgment on you. Average day is a get up at, get to work for six o'clock in the morning. I push in the hospital cows for Steve for him to milk, <clears throat> just to check over. After that, I then get in the tractor and telehander and put all the feed out for the cows and bed down all the hospital cows make sure they're all nice and clean I'll go back in find Steve help him with any jobs if he needs it come back after breakfast and do the odd jobs around the farm empty the shit out and spread that in the fields and then in the afternoon push all the cows in for him to milk bed them down get them nice and clean so they don't get any diseases or anything I then go and just do more odd jobs around in the afternoon and help Steve out and hopefully by then it should be home time. Which it is... sounds easy, but it's not. 6, 6.30 in the afternoon, evening, so it's a 12 hour day minimum. Definitely a stressful job. 12 hours of manual labour definitely takes its toll. How do you think all of this affects your personal life, your private life, your social life? All it's a, it's <laughs> a mind fuck. Um, f for your social life, you pretty much don't have one. I try my hardest to make myself have a social life. They say you're working with people, but you're only working with two, three people a day and you don't even see them for most of it. Out of a 12 hour day, you probably work for them, work with them for about two hours during the whole day. And that's the most social contact you have for the most of the day. It does screw with your mind a bit. It makes you th overthink everything, because that's all you can do is think. It's personal life, it's a shit munch because you don't get to see your mates, but that's a sacrifice that you do really. Whilst every, all my mates are at uni, you know, they're all hassled, tied up and everything. What do I get? I get six days off in a month. In those six days, you pretty much want to sleep. Six days out of a week, I'll probably spend four of them out with my mates. But four days with your mates in a month is not enough. It gives you no chance with your friends. It's like getting a missus, you can't. Take, for instance, I'm single, and it's a bugger to go get a girlfriend out of it. It's pretty much impossible because you can't go out in four days in a month and find a girlfriend. The one next to the one standing up. You can tell by her face. Really? You stink as shit. You're not about that often. You can find a fuck, but you can't find a girlfriend. And I can't even find a fuck. <laughs> but the plus side is you've got a free house. A girl likes a boy with a house, don't they? So yeah, it's a big stress and taken away from your personal life. It's definitely my career, I'll be coming back to it, but I will be going travelling as well. Australia in April, hopefully. America. So I'm, I'm going to go party for a few years, live my childhood and then come back to it, because I can do now.